I make sure that you can uh, complete the exam. I mean, like if you have uh, review what we uh, study in class together so far, I'm pretty sure that you will pass the exam. And when I check the, let me share you the screen. Now. When I check the Google form, I mean, the Google document, I think is kind of messed up right now. I'm not sure like who, uh, maybe accidentally click something and the table is really messed up. Please be mindful and be careful because this is not, um, how to say, because everyone used this form together and I think it's, the format has gone. So anyway, for today, I will make a new table again. One moment, please. Give me a little moment here. Okay. okay, everyone, can you see the screen right now? Yes, Ajahn. Okay, this is uh, where we were last Sunday. No? So uh, basically we study about the uh, differences between the academic use and everyday use vocabulary. No? And you have done 1.1, uh, exercise 1.1. And also this, we, we are going to continue uh, the exercise you know, and you're going to be practicing changing the word, you know, neutral word in a more formal form. Okay, so can anyone uh, read this table for me again, please? Uh, starting from the neutral word, you know, the first word, please. In short, briefly, basically. Yes. Okay, how do you make them become more formal if you want to change the word in short? Uh, <laughs> Ajahn William, can you help me? 
<laughs> no, I want someone else to speak in this class other than than this you and, and well, mainly you. You know, the, we, there's so many students that I haven't heard from in so long. Well, where are they? Mm. And, and I think if we uh, if we leave things open for long enough without jumping in, then they will have time to actually participate in the class. This is my concern. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so it will involve this this sort of uncomfortable waiting period of silence, but I think we need to do that to let other people participate, in my opinion. What do you think? Mm-hmm. I actually am also waiting to hear some responses from other students as well. Yeah. All that seem like uh, non-response. But <laughs> yeah. I would like to encourage other students to also try to participate as much as you can. And this is your own benefit. Right or wrong doesn't matter here. Okay, just read. Anyone would like to try? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, Ajahn, I'm here. Okay, good. Can you read the second one, please? Oh, p- first one, like if you want to share in short, in a okay. formal, more formal way, what would the change to be? In short, change to the mm. more formal, in, in yes. sum, briefly, yes. change to, mm-hmm. to sum up, basically, mm. change fundamentally. Okay, very good. Next, please. Next, yeah. Oh, you mean the next one? Oh, oh what do you mean? Okay. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Only the story. Mm. Almost and mm. more or less change yes. virtually. Okay. Trying change to attack. Mm-hmm. Mainly, mostly change to primarily. Topic mm-hmm. topical of change to characteristics of. Mm. Okay. Now I think you have some idea of like how to change the neutral word to a more academic or more formal words. All right. So I think now we're going to practice some doing some exercise together. So I'm going to share you a new link, uh, a new link because the old one is already messed up. So I'm making the new one, new document for you. Just wait a moment. Okay, so I will be sharing the link in live and also in chat box here. One moment, please. Let's check if everyone can access the link. Okay. Can you access the link? In the box? Let me know if you can ask us. Yeah, that's that's fine, Ajahn. It's easy to access, yeah. Okay, okay, that's great. So what we're gonna do here today is to try to change, uh, try to change the word in bold. Now, can anyone read the instruction for me, please? 1.2. One part two here, instruction. Let me share the screen. Okay, anyone would you like to want to hear reading the instruction for me, please?
one point two. Okay. Uh, use yep. more formal alternative to the word. Mm. Make any necessary grammar grammatical changes. Yes, very good. So you will ask to change the word, the words in bold. So let's have a look together for each item. What what are the words in bold? The first word, the word in bold are mainly. All right, mainly. The second word is almost. Number three will be what is number three? Only, huh? Only, okay. Number four, basically. Number five, tried. Number six, really good. Number seven, typical of. And eight is there is no way. So please use alternative words. To make these neutral words in bold become more formal, please write the full sentence in the answer. Full sentence, everyone. And in some sentences, you also need to make some grammatically changes. No, please also check that as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, and please hi highlight the word that you changes, all right? Highlight the word that you have changed. Number one to number eight. Okay, let's try. Okay, full sentence, please. Also highlight the word that you change.
Okay. Please type the full sentence, no? Nan Lin and Tran Diamond. Mm, Tran Diamond, right? Please type the full sentence. Yes, Ajahn. Okay. Oh, I got a phone call. One moment.
Okay, uh, we want to looking at uh, uh, some of the answer that you are typing. And I test this. Okay. And how do you, um, do you have any like question regarding the exercise? For some of the words that you're not sure. Quiet mean no question, right? So in the exam, if I ask you to change uh, the neutral words to be more formal words, to be more formal, uh, you can do it, right? Like practicing from this exercise. No? And you can just basically look at what we have learned. Uh, like here, you don't have to look for other words because I have put uh, most of the word in the exercise in the document that I sent to you. Uh, Right here. See? Um, excuse me, Ajahn, would you mind yes. please please resending that document you've got that you're showing at the moment? I don't seem to have that. Oh, this is the, this one, no? Do you still have it? Oh, uh, maybe like, I do, sorry. One moment, one moment. Yeah, like this exercise, no? you can just turn on, turn to page. Three, okay, pick three, and you see the table here. Okay, can you find it, Venerable William? Yeah, sorry, it? yeah, I've just found oh, it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about that. All right. Yeah, yeah, so you can uh, review this document, no? and you can use the formal words from here. Okay, maybe we can check the answer together now. No. Okay, who would like to try to answer number one? Answer. Okay, number one. Who would like to answer number one? Uh, 
Kak Jemi. Yes, okay. Thank you very much for your response. Okay, so what is your answer? It actually concerns with the problem of policy in the no. internet. Very good. Thank you for your answer. So the book is primarily concerned. No, I didn't for me. I said me. So basically, you can I just use. Can I answer essentially? Well, you can just use primarily. You know, just practice by using the 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 word man, that I list for you. you now simple oh. and easy, and and so if you practice from the list of the word I list for you, then you can improve your writing easily. You know, I mean, you have okay. the um. The vocabulary in your practice, not to make it more formal, like when you see mainly, so you know exactly when, what to change to. That would be easy for you. Uh, yeah, thank you, mm. Ajahn. Okay, so the book is primarily concerned with the problem. Uh, Okay, so you can just highlight primarily that you replace mainly. Okay, number two, who would like to answer? Number two. Okay, Mia Chan. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Almost, almost every school in the country has the reported program with the new system. So almost hmm. change to virtually. Okay, you can basically use the word in the table that I provide to you. Virtually, every school no? in the country. Uh, Reported with the new system. Okay, so next one, please. Who would like to answer number three? Let me try again. Okay, let's do it. Um, okay, the work mm -hmm. of the institute is not solely, 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 or solely. How to pronounce this one? So, okay, this could be solely, solely. S O L I S O L E L Y, uh, right? Yes, solely. Yes. Yes, solely devoted to the cancer research. Mm -hmm. Is not solely very good. It's not solely devoted to cancer research. Okay, now you just learn to change to a more formal. Okay. Okay, very good. Next number four, please. Who would like to try number four? Yes, I can. I will try. Okay, very good. Mm. Primarily, we believe we help demonstrate a significant link between the uh -huh. two events. Okay, fundamentally, we believe we help. Demonstrated a significant a 
Okay, very good. Fundamentally. Next, please, number five. Who would like to try number five? Don't me. Okay, please. We attempt to find a new way of understanding data. Attempt, which verb? Attempted, no? Verb. Attempted. Yeah, yeah. To find a new way of understanding. Okay, very good. Attempt that. Next, who would like to try number six? Mm. How can you change? Really good. Really good example. Check number six. Mm. Okay, who would like to try to answer? Number six, please. Ashan, can I try another one? Okay, please. Mm, the study is an outstanding example of the way sociologists collect their data. The, the study is? An outstanding. Oh, outstanding, right? So basically from the... Uh, the handout, remember what, what did we use before with example yeah. that comes together? Uh, prime. Like the word, yes, a prime example, the word that comes together. No. Prime example, I mean really good example. Okay, so that would be prime. Really good or prime. Okay, number seven. Who would like to find number seven? Okay, if anyone, I'll read it for you, Ajahn. Okay, thank you. Okay, the, the reaction is characteristic mm -hmm. of the way large mm. cooperation keep the control of their markets. Very good. Thank you very much. The way large cooperation. Okay, great. And the last one. Last one. How do you change or re replace? There is no way. Now, London can be compared to Sydney as a place to live and work. Um. I would say uh, London cannot in any way be compared to Sydney as a place to live and work. Okay. Can you say that again, Pete? London. Uh, London cannot. Cannot be in any way. In any way. Uh, I, yeah, I said London cannot in any way be compared, but either or doesn't really matter, does it? Yeah. Yeah. In any way compared to Sydney. 
two or something. Uh, suppliers, place, unlock. Yes. Cannot in any way be okay. Okay. Is there anyone has like another idea for this sentence? No. For the second answer, it could be like, okay, it could be like in no respect. No, we also use this word in no respect. And London, not to be compared. Okay, you can use this phrase as well to make it more formal. Ignorance, but okay. Okay, so I think everyone like practice changing you now, and I think you have learned uh, the formal words and you replace instead of neutral words in academic writing. And so I think you can form a sentence in a more uh, academic way. Okay, next we will try the next exercise. Scroll down, scroll down. Okay, this exercise, let's see what you have to do. But first, can anyone volunteer to read this exact? Or this paragraph for me, please. Ajami. Okay, thank you. Read the text and then answer the questions. The projection mm -hmm. of plastic depends heavily on petroleum, but mm -hmm. no more way of making plastics out of sugar could reduce our really relays on wine. The discovery that a chemical in sugar can be converted re relatively easily into a substance substance similar in structure to the material obtained when the petroleum has led to the claim that plastics could soon be produced cheaply using the new method. Okay, okay. So to do, you have to answer three questions. Who would like to answer question for me, please? What do you have to do here? One, one. Okay, we we'll want to answer like we question number one. What do we have to do here? Mark with adverse. Ah, mm. depends heavily. Uh, what do you have to do? Number one, can you read number one, please? And I like okay. to words. Okay, uh, but I got. No, I will read the word, not I got. <laughs> sorry, and sorry. And the like to, as verb after them, which, uh, which is, would be useful to learn as peers. Pairs. No? Number one, you have to underline two verbs, nah, two verbs with adverb after them which it could be useful to learn as pairs that means they normally comes together right so in this passage do you see 
any verbs that come with adverbs. They already said two, so can you look for it? Okay, type your name and type down your answer for number one. Type your name and type your answer number one. We will do one by one. Actually, there are three. Three. You have to find three. Three verbs followed by adverbs. All right. Three verbs followed by adverbs. That. So, Ajahn, for the number one, we just write down the verb, right? Not adverb, right? Two words together, verbs and adverbs. Or bird and s bird coming together. Mm, mm, okay. Okay. Let's find. Let's find. Okay. Verbs and verbs together. You have to choose uh, between relatively or easily. No, that connect with the verb. Huh? Which one modify the verb? Mm. Okay. Okay, what about the rest?
Okay, let's have a look at the answer together. For number one, you know, for the verbs that come with the adverb after them, the first word, no, first word. So please tell me your answer. What is the, your first word? Verbs and adverbs, the first pair. Almost finished, Ajahn. Okay. So number one, what is your answer for three words that three pairs that you see in the paragraph? Who would like to answer? Ajahn, me. Okay, please. <laughs> number one, deepens heavily. Mm, sure. Number two, be produced cheaply. Number two, anything ready. before that? Anything before that? Anything? Uh, converted first, no? Converted easily, no? Yeah, converted. Converted easily. And the last pair is? Produced cheaply. Okay, very good. Produced cheaply. Okay. Uh, uh, Next, yeah, why, can, why cannot mm -hmm. we do, uh, uh, we, you, why we, we, we cannot do relatively? Okay. Converted relatively easily. Here, easily modify converted. No. And relatively modify easily. Right. So now we are looking for the Verb and adverbs, no, that modify the verbs, no. All right, so converted easily because easily modify converted and relatively modify easily. Mm. Okay. Okay. So if you say like that, like that, the first the bar is cannot, I cannot say modifying words. You mean like that? Converted, uh, if you say converted. Yes. Relatively, then the meaning not finished. Like the mm -hmm. modifier is not right. Modifier is not right. Because relatively comes together with easily. It's like very easily, something like that. Very easily. So if you say converted, very, and then what? Not finished the 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 phrase mm -hmm. yet. So, mm -hmm. I, so we must say, I have a question. It, like, uh, it had rules. So the inference adverb we cannot use it. You mean like that? Can we say like sometimes it easily inference another adverb behind? Can we choose another verse? I mean, it has any rules to like we can see which one is modif modifying adverbs. Can oh, we normally the adverb, the adverbs yeah. will follow by the verb. Not the you mean the position, no? You put the verb first and then modify by the adverb after the verb. No, okay. no. I mean, like here, like we can see like two adverbs. So at the time, which one, if we don't know like another adverb, how can we uh, recognize? Do, do we hear? Does it have any okay. rule to like? So you can, you can just, uh, you'd have to find the main verb first, no? The main verb is converted. And then if you said converted relatively, it has no meaning. The meaning not finished. So if you say converted easily, so you see easily modify converted. Hmm. Like it's like you uh, how is it? Uh, it's like eat very fast. Now, I will give you some two examples. Eat, so eat very fast. Uh, eat 
Let me reduce the clip in this. Oh. See? Really? So cook. Cook very quickly. So relatively is like very here. Do you see it? Yes, Ajahn. Okay, this is more clear for this example. So basically, you cannot use cook very. No. So cook quickly is the adverb that modify it. No. But very, very modify quickly here. You got it? Oh. Uh. That means, yeah, relatively no, no adverb, not really adverb. Oh. The function of relatively is to modify easily. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's move on. Number two, what do you have to do? Can you also read number two, please? Anyone, can you read number two? The, what do you have to do for number two? Okay, Ajahn. Okay. Underlying two adverbs next to each other, which is, would be useful to learn together, to learn together. Okay, very good. Now you are asked to underline adverbs that comes together with adverbs, adverbs followed by adverbs that would be useful for you to see that it would come together as pairs. In academic writing, you can see very often. So what is the answer for number two? Red relative. Did you see? Yeah. And yes, yes, yes. So as I just explained. Mm -hmm. Easily. These are the adverbs that modify the adverb. All right. Adverb can modify the adverbs as well. So that's it. That's the answer. So, so number three, what do you have to do for number three? What are the noun forms of the words produce, rely, discover, and claim. Everyone, uh, read your answer, please. Now, form for production. these four words. Okay, production. Mm. Rely on. Mm. Next. Discovery. Mm -hmm. And next? Claim. Bird and now I'm the same, right, Ajahn? Yes, claim is the same. So it's just very useful if you know the word forms. Right? If you know the word forms. So you can write it correctly. Okay, next, let's try one more exercise here. Regarding the word form. Okay, first we will begin with now, and then verb, then adjective, okay. 
and Atlas. Okay, what's for? Okay, so if I give an example, my example word, the first one is accident. Okay, what is a verb, what is the adjective, what is the adverb form of accident? Second one, quantified. Okay. Please answer. You do it together first. Anyone can type here and help typing. You can do it together. Hmm. Good. Okay, thank you for number one. Okay, number one. So number one, no accidental accident is a noun, and there is no verb for accident. No verb. Okay, put it blank here. And the adjective of accident is accidental. Adverb for accident no, is accidentally. Number two, quantify as a verb. What is the noun for this word? Mm, try, try. Quantification, good, very good. Okay, okay. Quantification, is there any other? Uh, please do not have to make the table. This is, I'm gonna make the table for you. No, this is, we just practice together and see, check your understanding first. Okay, quantification, is there any now for quantify? Not yet. <laughs> keep it, keep it. I will ask you to think of your own uh, words. Uh, not, not here, not here. Let's delete it first. Okay. Is there any other now uh, for quantify? Quantity.
Can you hear me? Test, test. Yes, Ajahn. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you, Ajahn. Thank you, Ajahn. Thank you, Ajahn. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay, the first one is okay, quantification. The second one, what is the noun for another noun for quantification? Quantify here is a verb, not a noun. Mm. If we talk about the research, yeah, how many types of research, basic type of research, opposite to qualitative. Mm. Mm, quantitative, but is it a noun? Is it the right column? Where should quantitative be in the column? Mm, very good. Quantitative, okay. Quantifier. You, can, you Quantifier. cannot write, can you make table? <laughs> okay, uh, for the table, we will just do it together. No, because I just want to know your idea. Okay, so what about adverbs? Okay, now we have correct answer here. Quantity, very good. So I will delete. No, just oh, sorry. Quantity, nah, quantity. Okay, two nouns for quantify, and the right adjective is quantif, no? quantifiable, and quantitative. Oh. And at what? Quanti. Can you make can you make adjective become at work? Using these two. The first one from quanti variable, quantifiable to quantifiably. Very good. And the second one, can you make quantitative? Ah, quantitatively. Okay, very good. So, in order to write, yeah, be good at writing, you should also learn different forms of a word. Some of them don't don't have all. Some of them have all. Okay. So tomorrow, no, we will continue. We will continue from this part. All right. Okay, so for today, uh, I will stop it here. No, is that okay for everyone? Okay, that okay. Okay, okay. Okay, John, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, I will see you tomorrow. Now we'll practice tomorrow. But before you go, please turn on your camera. We are going to take picture.